What's up YouTube, it's Jacko Goldkick, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about why Rockstar sucks nowadays. Rockstar Games is a developer slash game company that used to be really good. I used to like them, and I used to like their games a lot, but nowadays, they've really fallen off, and they just fucking suck nowadays, and they've become lazy, they've become complacent, and they've become greedy, and I want to make a video talking about it, and another reason I want to make this video is... I'm tired of Rockstar Games getting a pass. You know, I always see so many game companies get called out for everything in the book, but anytime Rockstar does some bullshit, they always get a pass, and I'm sick and tired of that bullshit. So that's another reason I'm making this video, because more people need to speak out on Rockstar and the bullshit they do and how they fucking suck nowadays, because they do. Rockstar sucks now. You know, Rockstar Games back in the day used to be one of the best developers in the industry. They used to make original games, classic games, innovative games, they pushed boundaries, they had tons of games under their belt, they had tons of franchises, they were one of a kind, and they were one of the best to do it. But nowadays, they just straight up suck, and they don't have any of the magic, they don't have any of the stuff that made them good in the past anymore. They fucking suck nowadays, and they're trash. They went from being one of the best developers in the industry, to becoming one of the worst in the industry, and one of the most laziest. Rockstar fucking sucks nowadays and they've fallen the hell off and they're not good anymore And I think it started ever since 2013 when they put GTA 5 out You know ever since they put GTA 5 out That's when Rockstar really went downhill because people started to leave Rockstar like Leslie Benz I think is his name and then Dan Hauser and stuff like that. So some of their best uh, Employees and developers left their company and they've also become complacent lazy and greedy on top of that and Rockstar has just fallen off They fucking suck now because if we look at 2013 and we look at 2021, look at look at the year 2013 all the way to now in 2021. How many games have they dropped after 2013? They've only dropped one game. Think about that. After 2013, all the way to 2021, they've only dropped one video game. That is ridiculous. That's crazy. They've only dropped one fucking video game, which is Red Dead Redemption 2. I haven't played that, so I don't know what to think of it. But think about that. After 2013, all the way to 2021, they've only dropped one fucking video game. You know, whereas in the past, on the seventh generation and the sixth generation, they used to drop so many games in a console generation, and they were all fucking quality. San Andreas quality, the Warriors quality, and many more. They dropped so many games in the past, whereas nowadays, they don't even really do video games anymore. They've only dropped one video game in the past decade, and they're still milking GTA V, which is a fucking 2013 game. They released GTA 5 in 2013, then they remastered that game again for the PS4 and Xbox One, and now they're re-releasing it again for the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X. They're milking the hell out of GTA 5. They're so fucking greedy, especially with those shark cards, and they've become lazy with only putting out one game in the past decade, which is just Red Dead Redemption 2. That's the only fucking title they've put out from 2014 all the way to 2021. After they put out GTA 5, they've only put out one fucking video game after 2013 all the way to 2021. What kind of fucking shit is that? Rockstar used to be a goddamn good developer back in the day. They didn't just drop one game in a decade. I remember the 360 generation or the PS2 generation. Rockstar used to drop a whole bunch of games. Nowadays, they barely drop any games. They're fucking lazy as hell, and they barely drop games anymore. They're also greedy-ass motherfuckers, too. You look at GTA 5 with the damn shark cards. They fucked up GTA Online in that game. To try to get people to buy shark cards as much as possible. They've made so much money off GTA 5. They've made so much money off the shark cards. And yet, they're still relying on GTA 5. And they still barely put video games out. It's, I mean, it's ridiculous. Rockstar has so much fucking money at their disposal. From GTA 5 and the shark cards. They have so much money. And yet, they can't give us new games. They can't give us sequels to franchises people want. They can't give us remakes of games that need it. Like Max Payne 1. You know, they can't do any of that shit. You know, they fucking suck now. They become lazy, they become complacent, they become greedy, and they're trash now. They used to be a developer that could make classic games, that could make a bunch of games, that could, you know, be innovative and push boundaries. They don't do that shit anymore. They barely put games out, they're fucking greedy as hell, they're complacent, and they're lazy, and they barely put anything out. I mean, we haven't had a GTA game since 2013, and I read some rumor that GTA 6 was starting development. GTA 6 still isn't out. GTA 5 came out in 2013, and we're in 2021, and there still isn't no GTA 6. Like, that's fucking ridiculous. That's crazy. That is ridiculous, you know? This fucking company barely puts games out anymore, you know? And the only thing they've been doing recently is just rehashes. GTA 5 re-released. That's like the third fucking time that games came out. They want to just milk it even further and be even more greedy with those fucking shark cards, you know? 
and then they're re-releasing the GTA trilogy. They're re-releasing three GTA games. What would be better is if they remade them. You know, they have the fucking money to do so. Why not remake GTA 3, Vice City, and San Andreas, and then release it in the trilogy? Why not do that? You have enough money for it. All that fucking money you make off GTA 5 and the shark cards, you have plenty of fucking money, Rockstar. Why can't you do remakes of your old games and do new games and do sequels to franchises people want? No, instead you become complacent and lazy. You barely put games out anymore and you're fucking greedy as hell. And you pull a lot of bullshit with your game, a lot of bullshit business practices. You've ruined GTA Online. GTA Online and GTA 5 used to be pretty fun and now it sucks. Rockstar has ruined it because they're greedy. They fucked up a lot of missions. They made it very hard to get money. They made it so grindy to earn money in GTA Online. And the reason they do that is because they want to try to entice people to buy shark cards. Why would they sell microtransaction money in shark cards if the game has an easy way of getting money, you know, th then that means they're not going to have anybody tempted to buy the shark cards. So they have to fuck with the game and do shit with it to entice people to buy the shark cards. That's the trick there. That's the bullshit they do. And they should be called out for that horse shit. They, they, and in my opinion, Rockstar, a lot of game companies do bullshit, but Rockstar does some stuff that's even worse than other game companies, you know, like with Red Dead Redemption 2, they locked pre, they locked side missions behind a, by, behind a paywall. There's like a hundred dollar edition of Red Dead 2 that has fucking missions locked behind it. It's like, are you kidding me? That is ridiculous. I haven't even seen Capcom do that shit with Resident Evil Village or Resident Evil 7. I don't even remember seeing Activision or EA do that with a Call of Duty or Battlefield game. And yet Rockstar's pulling that shit. And yet Rockstar gets a pass. Like I said, I used to like Rockstar. I liked their games in the past. I like San Andreas. I like the Warriors, but they're not the same anymore. They fucking suck now. They're complacent, they're lazy, they're greedy, and they're just not good anymore. And they got bullshit business practices, and they barely put games out, and they just milk the same shit over and over again. They fucking suck now. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share the notification bell. That's it. And that was my opinion on why Rockstar sucks now. They're just not the same as they used to be. They're fucking